Right, and good evening everybody and welcome back again to another fine episode here at the Artist Corner where I bring you fine, where I, your friendly neighborhood illustrator, Mr. Dave Joyner, bring you fine, high quality tutorials on a regular basis. So tonight, um, I am doing a continuation of a piece I started earlier today. Uh, this one is a watercolor base. Uh, we're coming over the top with inks and then finalizing it with a uh, colored pencil. As you can see here, we're working in a nature scene as I like to do. And we're going to go ahead and bring in here the grass. We've got, uh, we're putting in some grass here along the edge of this uh, embankment. And I'm going to try to choke back. Uh, I keep remembering, I have to do this for you guys as viewers. You really can't see what I'm doing unless I do that. So as we get further away and further down on the scenery, we're going to be getting further and further and further and further. But you see grass, it's a neat, neat thing. See grass really comes in many lengths. So it's one of those fudgeable, um, sorry about that. It's one of those fudgeable things that really you can kind of, from a distance, it does get smaller. Um, obviously this is in general, a lot smaller than this grass over here and also we've got grass here that's really quite large I know I meant to do this is like my grass episode so we're using grass as a tool for um, I guess we can't really see that section there anyway this is a fairly large illustration um, thank you to my very good friend D well, shout out to you lady your awesome sauce uh, for purchasing this this uh, illustration paper um, she and I, uh, if our plans work out, will be um, both uh, entering at the Clark County Fair this year, which sounded pretty cool. Anyway, um, so you kind of, you, you come in here and you create these little areas. You put rocks in here and there's grass in the distance. But really, I want to try to do my best to configure the grass into clumps. I want to clump it. We are clumping the grass. Um, at a certain point here, I'm going to uh, almost do a horizon. Not horizon, that's not the right word. Uh, okay, so there's the. Let's treat the grass like it is got, it, like it has a, a foreground, a midground, and a background. The black ink grass you see is the foreground grass. The foreground grass is going to come and it's going to uh, jump right out at the viewer and it's going to uh, be the first thing you see. And you got the mid-ground grass. That's where we're going to develop the clumping. And we're going to come in here and, and um, this is still uh, not considered, in my opinion, this is still uh, foreground grass. Uh, we are just uh, going to go ahead and put a little, there we go. Now we've got the uh, mid-ground grasses. Or I guess in some cases this would be the... Trying to be Mr. School Teacher now. And some here. And we're going to allow them to kind of overlap each other. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, that is the money shot right there. When you got grasses running in the background and they're shooting behind other pieces like that, that's really going to show up. Your eye is going to gravitate to this, this kind of thing. Where you've got grass that's going to uh, be going in different directions. That's that's really important here. Is to have remember that the grass isn't always going to be going in the same direction. It's not like you've dragged a comb through it and it's hair. Although a very similar effect can be done in this to do hair. And remember we're clumping. So we've got a clump here, we've got a clump here, different size clumps. We're going to clump it over here as well. Let's see what time we're at. We're at 4 minutes and 4 seconds. I hope this is going to turn out right. So, 
Um, I just want to make sure I'm not messing this up. So, remember to choke back, Dave. All right, now we're going to come in and we're going to do some of the background grass. And it's going to be way in the distance here. And we're going to be using the background grass. And this is where our color is going to be the darkest. It's a bit of a different technique than we normally use. See, the grass in the very front, it's actually going to be lighter colored than the grass that's further in because it's actually in a darker area. Except for the grass right on the top. The grass right on the top is going to be... Um, the grass right on the top is obviously exposed to the light and uh, we want to make sure that I got grass growing in different directions here as well. Okay, so we have just completed six minutes of grass drawing, which is so much fun. I love to do it. Okay, over here we're going to do a little tree. We've got the side of the tree, but we've got to remember that there's going to be bark involved on this tree and we've got multiple uh, roots to establish in this tree and they're all traveling in and out of the ground and we want that to be we want that to look like it's going in and out of the ground you can't you can't just uh, you can't just uh, um, make it um, this dirt is going to be coming up over the edges of the root like right here um, in a fashion that uh, it's, it's a graduation, it's slowly disappearing into the earth. And we want it to appear that way. And we also want to establish the multi-layer aspect. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Might not be able to have a piece of grass going all the way up there now, unless I have it way over here. Maybe I should establish that right now. So we're going to go, uh, there we go, and we're going to go up, 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 there we go. I want this grass, we're going to have grass growing everywhere. There we go. So we got different grasses growing in clumps around this water's edge. We're going to go ahead and establish that in the illustration, uh, but we at the same time, there we go, um, I'm going to have these little grassy clumps here and there, I'm going to put one over here. And then we're going to come over here and establish the earth. We will come in here. And I'm going to say at eight minutes, we are just about good, I think. All right. I think. We can go ahead and, uh, oh, I guess we got a little time left, don't we? Let's go ahead and, do I have time to do, nope, the, the bain, nope, we don't have time to do the embankment. Well, let's come over here and finish a little bit more of the, there we go. And we'll come in and do sky later. But I think that's all we're going to be able to have time for this evening. I hope you're enjoying it. And we will be back again tomorrow for more of this on the Artist Corner with your friendly neighborhood illustrator, Mr. Dave Joyner. But let's go ahead and back up real quick so we can see the whole illustration. Just uh, disconnect you from the, my tool. Bring you guys down here. So here is the entire illustration. I don't know if you can see that. That's sort of dark on one side. It appears dark. It's not dark though. It's just the shadowing on the page. As you can see, it's actually quite bright. Um, we've got mountains, rocks, everything that looks good in an illustration. 
All right, you guys, you guys have a lovely night, and we will be back again with another fine installment here at the Artist Corner. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Dave Joyner.